Uh, the ANC Women's League in the Northwest is not happy with the decision that provincial leaders took to recall mayors, speakers and chief whips from five municipalities. The ANC's interim provincial committee recalled the group last week because of a collapse in governance at the Matrosana, uh, Makwasi Hills, Mahikeng and its Obotla local municipalities and the Dr. Ruth Sohomotsi Mombati district municipality. The party says this is the first step in dealing with the poor leadership and severe delivery issues in the province. We join now uh, via Zoom by Biza Lenkopane, the acting provincial secretary of the ANC Women's League in the Northwest. A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for making the time to join us. Why is the Women's League not happy with this decision? Apparently, you've instructed all your constituencies not to abide by the instruction by the, uh, uh, by the committee. Uh, thank you. Let me uh, greet uh, all of you and uh, the listeners. I must indicate that um, it is to be captured very clear that we have not instructed the constituencies not to resign. But the position of the League in the province is that we are the League of the ANC that have experienced a number of mistakes that were committed by a lot of interim structures which are appointed by the, by, by, by the ANC. Now, in the case of the decisions which are taken by the IPC, the position of the League is that we are not going to agree for we know of the democratic centralism nature and the principle of the ANC, but we will not agree that it got abused. Because these mayors and troikas, when you say you have done a scientific uh, approach in terms of assessment, the main uh, tool that we will have to look into will be your Auditor General's report. And when you look at the, the Auditor General's report, the first bullet, as you read the overall uh, uh, comments of the AG, the comments of the AG are very clear to say the municipalities which were put under 139 section of the constitution, where administrators were in charge, your Mahiking and your Dijobota. How do you expect people who happen to have in councils, leading councils as the seniors in council, but all the powers in terms of 160 of the constitution were given to administrators and all the powers of the accounting officers or the MM in terms of 55 of the MFM of the Systems Act were also given to the administrator. Remember these two uh, legislations, which even the Auditor General is outlining that because of that, there was no way that they could hold the accounting officer accountable in terms of accelerating service delivery and implementation of the SDB. Now it's like you tighten their hands and after one, one and a half year, you come and you say they would have performed. How do you expect them to perform? When you look at performance management system, there's no any other system that you will use to people which they do not know. Now, if you happen to do the, it this way, it is not the... ANC that we are a leak of. We are the women's league which understand the processes and the principles of the ANC. Whilst agreeing that when there are problems, especially on the deployees, we have to make sure that we rectify. Yeah. But the Auditor General has indicated that the findings, most of the issues are systemic in nature. Now, a, I it hear what you're can saying. be convinced I hear what you're saying, but the Auditor General process is a government process. The IPC process is a party process. Should one assume then that is, the Women's League is not communicating with the party? No, 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 no. I must correct you. The government is the ANC-led government. We are the League of the ANC. We are an integral part of the ANC. We form part of the collective but a wrong is a wrong. If there's no eye to see a wrong, we are there as the league with a better understanding and experience because we've been here, these uh, structures are appointed, they come and go, and they have committed a lot of mistakes for the decisions they take, and they leave the systems with the decisions which are wrong, 
and it is hurting and it is damaging the systems of the ANC. Remember, the contract of the deployees of the ANC in councils and in government is through the manifesto of the ANC. Now, we will not listen to any other issue if we don't listen to the issue of the manifesto. Like, let me give you an example of the Chobota municipality. The Chobota municipality is a Schedule a B a municipality, which is a under Nakamudi Rimolema. You can say the Chobota did not deal with issues of water and sanitation because the issues of water and sanitation rely on the district municipality of Nakamudi Rimolema. This is not fair, this is irrational, and this has got no uh, a sense of saying it is accurate in terms of the outcomes that leads to say is because of assessment. We are saving in this structure and we are quite aware and we have raised it. That is why the structure has taken this position because there's no fairness. There has never been a pure assessment to this. And uh, it can't be that our people are crucified and their political profile is dented because of the wrong assessment, which cannot be tested to be correct. You, you have very strong feelings about the outcomes of this assessment and you're saying it's incorrect. Have, has the Women's League engaged with uh, the IPC about this, uh, about your concerns and the things that you, the, the, the points that you have raised now? I think I think because the listeners are some of the listeners are members of the ANC and they understand democratic centralism and the collective nature of the principle of the ANC. It must be also made clear that as the ANC, when we want to perceive our NDR, we were warned long time ago that we will finally have people who will be in the shape of the ANC once they kill the ANC from within. And that's the position that we start to read and to say. But we must rescue the movement. People must account for the wrongdoings. But in this case, we stand up and as the Women's League, we said, all our members who are corrupt will agree when this corruption has been directed to the law enforcement agencies and the courts will then decide and will not even uh, say we defend them. But in this case, there's nothing like that. Nine months to go to the, the local government elections when our people have been working so hard, when we have our local command centers which reveal the hard work that they have done, we are being told on a generic uh, approach to say they have been assessed. There's never been a fair assessment and we cannot. There's never been a fair assessment. They can't test uh, that what they are saying is correct. Why that test was never used to Gagamudi Rimolema? Why that test was never used to Rustenberg? Why was it never used to JB Max? Because these three municipalities, they form part of the 10, top 10 in the national, uh, in terms of the Auditor General for the irregular, wasteful, and, and, and fruitless expenditure. How do you then come to these ones and you become selective? Why don't you go to Moretile municipality where there is an SIU report that talks to our expenditures, that talks to they are, uh, that affected even the, the service delivery. Those are the issues that we have raised, but because of the majority, and now that we have the leak that will remain there even after the term of office have lapsed for this, we stand up and we say it can't be now because three structures have been operating whilst we were there. And all these uh, uh, blockages that are there for the ANC is because of these wrong decisions. And we said as a committee, we have uh, requested a hearing with the top six because we've got a pile of letters where we want to engage internally with the movement and we are not given a hearing. We're not talking where we become part because when you are in a meeting, you are part of the collective. But there are side engagements that needs to happen and we have been blocked and we are always told that we are defining ourselves outside the collective of the movement. That is not correct. It needs not to be abused. We understand the principles of the league uh, of the ANC. We are the league of the ANC. And we will rise as women against the wrong decisions. Even in 1956, when women could not agree to the wrongdoings, they stood up without anything they trusted on. But because the truth is there and evidence is there, we will continue to rise and defend the ANC and its integrity. Uh, that's that's been good. So, Bita, it's not that we are fighting. From what you're saying, uh, I w are you confirming that you've written that letter 
to the top six because you're saying they're not responding to you. But the question I want to ask you is, no, 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 the no, question, no, Bita, no, wait, no, wait, no, Bita, can I ask you a question? So I want to ask <laughs> okay, you, thanks. if you say that the IPC went about this incorrectly and the top six is refusing to respond to you, this this implies that there's a problem in communication between the women's league, the provincial women's no, no, league, no, no, no. and the mother body. You. Let me let me correct you. The top six have never refused. They have received our letter. They have acknowledged our letter. We have submitted a report. We are awaiting a call such that we go and we put our case with evidence on the table because we are the league. And it can't be that when we see things which are wrong, even if the majority is saying is right, we keep quiet as women because we yeah. bear the brunt. And at the end of the day, of all the decisions, even in the past structures, the women has always been the casualties of these decisions. Now, this time, we said enough is enough. We have to raise our voices. And in a very disciplined manner, we'll have to so do. So we, we, have, we have confidence in our leadership. They will listen to us. We are not saying we are, we are just going, they are going to get everything that we say as, as if it's right. They will test, they will apply their mind and they will see in a fair way, not the manner in which it is operated home here. Yeah. They so will listen to us. What is the way forward now? Are those members who have been instructed to vacate their positions, are they uh, uh, not reporting to office today? What's the latest? We, we are going to sit as the PwC to engage further on their reports because they have submitted reports and the officials have already processed their reports. We are now uh, to sit as the PwC, but actually the position of the league that, that we have communicated with our National Executive Committee of the Women's League and that uh, report that we have sent to uh, the, the, the leadership of the ANC. It's very clear that we are not going to agree to that decisions because they are wrong and they are irrational and they are selective and they are functional. Okay. Vita, we're going to ask you to hold on. We have on the line the spokesperson of the ICPC, Mr. Kenny Morolong. Uh, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for making the time, Mr. Morolong. I don't know if you've had a chance to listen to the conversation we've been having with Bita Lenkopani uh, in terms of that assessment, you, uh, the results you brought out last week, and uh, making a recommendation that some mayors and speakers and chief whips vacate their positions. The ANC Women's League in the province saying they're unhappy with this instruction. Uh, initially, we had gotten uh, uh, reports that they, were, they had instructed their constituency not to adhere to this instruction. But now she's just uh, uh, corrected us to say that's not the case. But what is the latest? What's happening in the ANC Northwest? Why is the ANC Women's League uh, feeling that your assessment process was not correct? Mr. Morolong, are you able to hear the studio? All right, we're going to go back to Ms. Linkopani while we try to clarify connection there uh, with uh, Mr. Morolong. Uh, Ms. Linkopani, we're still in conversation with you. Have you engaged the IPC? We, we are sitting with us uh, with about four letters that we have resolved as the ANC Women's League in the province to meet just with the officials uh, so that we raise these issues. But we have never been given even a single hearing since from last year, September to date. The only hearing that we saw on media is when the spokesperson was saying they engaged with the national. And we have powers. We are not suspended. We are having full powers as the provincial structure. When they deal with issues that are raised by the national structure, it those are issues that the national structure will just do a collection of information for purpose of also applying their mind in assisting us. But we are the league of the ANC in the province, and we are a product of conference. They have never listened to us, and they have ignored quite a number of letters and calls that we wanted just to engage because 
It is not uh, the culture of the movement that will come to the media space and complain about internal party matters. But when they go to the media and women see them explaining issues which are wrong, including that affect women, we are left with no option but also to take the media platform because it's lockdown. We are unable to call our meetings with the branches. Now it's, it's better for us to get to the media and say to women, we will fight all the wrong decisions which are taken, including others, not only removal of people from offices. There are other issues that we will still want to table that are also saying to us, women are so oppressed in terms of the decisions that are taken. And do not keep quiet because we know as in some instances, they will even set each other up. They will bring other women that will then be like, uh, they are better than others. That is not the position of the Women's League. Yeah. We're all equal here. And we understand that those that are in charge, when there are problems, there are so many ways to deal with the problems organizationally. You can't just wake up and remove people and you say you have made assessment and you bring a blanket statement to say, financial problems financial problems how do you get, then get a speaker and a chief whip into such because those are issues that needs to be processed you need to have your regulations that talks to how you set up investigation on financial mismanagement Bitsa, you, you need this? even to open cases you have cited the auditor general report now based on that there is no mm -hmm. question about the mismanagement of public funds and corruption what is the ANC Women's League in the province doing to stem uh, this corruption and this uh, mismanagement of public funds? Now, just recently, the ANC in uh, the National Executive Committee, including our president, has issued out a letter to say wherever we pick up uh, elements, because remember, one of the key issues of the ANC in terms of pursuing its uh, uh, national democratic uh, uh, revolution is to pressure the nation, uh, is to improve the state capacity. When we improve the state capacity is when, amongst others, we deal with combating fraud and corruption. And that is why we, we have moved around the municipalities to address all the deploys to say, Comrades, when you are involved in any corrupt uh, 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 activity, we will have our green blouses. We will accompany you to the police station. We will open a case. We are very clear and we are in full support of our president as well as the decision of the NEC. Now, in this case, it is not even reflected there. We want to see it happening that there is this case that has been opened on so and so a, a police station because of Comrade Butelezi or Comrade Betidi Akanyo or Comrade Maitu or any other comrade about the real fraud and corruption that this comrade has committed. We will agree as the Women's League because we are not promoting fraud and corruption because we are part of the co uh, collective that talks to uh, fighting and building a capable state. Okay, so we will agree. But in this case, there's no such. It's just I'm sucking and uh, a blanket statement. Yesterday, I was in uh, Dr. KK. Even the regional structure could not convince each other as to who brought the report there. So those things are not real. They are selective, they are irrational, they are functional in okay. nature. They aim at some comrades to be self-saving. Bita Lenkopane represents the ANC Women's League in the province of the Northwest. We're going to take a break. If you are able to, would like you to stay on with us as we try to reconnect with the IPC spokesperson in the province. Let's take a break for now.